Okay, here's my plan. I'm going to do a simple range test of the UV5R radios. I'm going to try and put one up in my rear bedroom window, take the other one with me out on the road, get some known distances, and see how well they operate in VHF. Alright, I placed my receiving radio in the windowsill. Cracked the window open here. A little worried about rain getting in, but hopefully it'll hold off. Set up a digital recorder and a Foscam wireless IP camera. I'll test it here in a little bit to see if it'll desense the radio. I doubt it will. And uh, that way I can monitor it from the vehicle where I'm transmitting from. And I'll know if I'm outside of my range or wasting my time. Alright, I got the FOSS cam up and running. As you can see, you can monitor it wirelessly on my phone. Got my other Baofeng radio here. I'm going to test it to see if it desensitizes the other radio. K7WJV testing. K7WJV testing. And there's a slight delay in it because it's an IP camera, but it appears to be working. I've got my FOSCAM app running so I can see if I'm making it through to the radio. I'm in my driveway warming up the diesel. Might as well see if I... Uh, I can make it from here and make this position A. K7 WJV testing. Looks like we're good. Let's keep going. K7 WJV testing. K7WJV position A UHF. K7WJV position A UHF. Okay, looking at my GPS, it says our target, which is my driveway where I did position A. It's about 734 feet away. We are about a block and a half away from my residence where the radio is set up. Let's connect to our IP camera. Put the radio outside the window here as if we were standing outside. And let's see if we make it through. K7 WJV testing. And it looks like we're making it through. K7 WJV testing. There's a bit more of a delay since I'm on cellular now instead of my wireless network at home. So there's a few seconds of a delay. And we're making it through. On to the next spot. K7WJV testing. Here we are at position C, which is roughly four tenths of a mile away from the other radio. Same setup, I'm gonna hold it out the window this time. We'll make sure we get through. K7 WJV testing. K7 WJV testing. Looks like we made it through. On to the next spot. K7 
WJV testing. trying to back in. So I'm just going to go ahead and give a call out here while I have a moment and see if I can make it in. K7 WJV testing. Unfortunately, I didn't have I don't have time to bring up my FOSS cam to check it wirelessly, but I'll have the audio if it's making it through. K7 WJV testing. Oh, he's cleared the road. On to the next one. We are at 3,723 feet from my radio. Let's see how we do here. Connect to my FOSS cam. Hopefully this red light holds for me. Oh yeah, we're connected. So out the window, we'll give it a try. I'm sure I'm gonna get some weird looks. K7 WJV testing. K7 WJV testing. And we made it through, and we got the green line. K7 WJV testing. K7 WJV testing. All right, here we are at position F. It's 1.28 miles as the crow flies from where the other radio is. It's mostly residential and commercial between this location and the other radio. So there's quite a bit that it's having to compete with. Let's see if we can get through. I got my IP camera going. K7 WJV testing. K7 WJV testing. All right, now there is a delay with the IP camera, so let's see if we're getting through. And it does not look like we made it through. Okay, we moved up to a commercial parking lot. I am uh, about 2.42 miles away from my other radio. We've gone up almost exactly 500 feet in elevation. 
got my IP camera running. We're in a commercial parking lot. There's a apartment complex between me and the other radio and between me and the edge of the mountain. So let's give it a shot, see if we can get out. K7WJV testing. K7WJV testing. Accidentally turned it off and back on there. Let's see. There's a few second delay, but I think it's past that now. Not making it in. Okay, I'm at position I, which is 1.87 miles away from my uh, radio. I'm at 547 feet of elevation. So I'm a little bit lower than my last location, but this one is right on the edge of a hill. Basically just have some trees between me and the valley that I live at where I have my other radio set up. It's got my FOSS cam running. Let's uh, give it a shot, see if we can hit it. K7 WJV testing. K7 WJV testing. Give it time for the delay. Again, it doesn't look like we've made it in. Actually coming up to a spot where I can see my residence off the side of the hill, which surprises me. But I'm gonna give it a shot from right here and see what we get. K7 WJV testing. I don't have my boss cam on, so I can't see if I made it through, but it should be on the recording. Uh, we'll give it one more shot. K7 WJV testing, position J. So if I made it through, it should be on the recording, it's position J. We'll see how that is. Fortunately, I gotta pay attention to driving and can't get GPS or elevation. All right, I'm in position K, about 1.1 miles away from my residence, but a city park. I wanted to see if it worked from here. This is one of the locations I'm curious about for my personal use. So I want to give a shot here. Turn this bad boy on. K7 WJV testing. Let's see if we made it through because there's a delay. And I got nothing. just for funsies. Let's turn on the mobile radio here in the truck. <laughs> and let's uh, see if we can pound that radio. K7 WJV testing. K7 WJV testing. Oh yeah, we made it through that time. <laughs> so on my way back, I got to thinking, why don't you see very many of these videos? Well, I think it's because people have unrealistic expectations of these radios. Am I disappointed at my results? Of course I'm a little disappointed. I was hoping to have great coverage, long distance communications, just like everybody else hopes for. However, that's not the reality of what you have here. These short little rubber ducky antennas, they're a compromise. No matter how you look at it, they're a compromise. These are upgraded a little bit. I'm gonna upgrade the antennas more. Probably won't get five miles out of them, 10 miles through an urban environment. It all depends on what's between you and your destination or the other radio. I got hundreds of houses between me and where I was. I mean, it is just thick, 
urban environment. I've got businesses, shipping businesses, big cement buildings. There's a ton that I have to punch through with a little rubber ducky antenna that's not radiating nearly as well as, as other antennas could. So it is what it is. I'll still post the video. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it.